Strikes. What's up, everyone? This is Nate, and this is part one of my Steelbooks collection. Now, um, we recently did a whole entire video of all my, well, videos of my entire regular Blu-ray collection. Those movies are over there. You can't see them They're on the other side of the room. These are my Steelbooks. These are my favorite uh, style of packaging, personally. Um, I prefer it to the regular standard Blu-ray case. I think they look better on a shelf. Um, Nine times out of ten, they have better artwork on them than a regular Blu-ray case. Not always. There's some that they don't try. But the ones when they try, they're always better than a regular plastic Blu-ray case with the, with the back, with all the, like, the little credits on the bottom and everything. These don't have those, which is why I like them. Um, so we're going to go through my entire collection. Um, it'll be a couple of parts. Um, and basically, I'm just going to show you the movie. I'm going to show you the case and uh, probably tell you where I got it or if there's any significance to it. So I'm not going to go into every single movie per se. And a lot of these movies, um, I have a lot less like unknown movies. Some of my Blu-rays are more lesser titles. Steelbooks usually will only come out for like big movies, really famous movies, really popular movies. So and there may be one or two that's like a smaller film, like maybe some of my Screen Factory ones. But other than that, um, it's pretty much like famous titles that you've heard of. So I'm not going to go into great detail about like uh, The Matrix. I, you know, what I got to tell you about The Matrix? I'll just show you the case. So we're going to start with my almost steelbooks first. These are my metal packs. Now I have a few here. Some of them I think are really cool. Some of them I think are just like they're almost steelbooks. So they stay on their own shelf as the rejects of my steelbook collection. But we'll start with the first one. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Um, see the front and back. I'll just show you front and back like this. So you got on the front, Caesar. On the back, Koba, the villain. Like, this is way cooler. Even the metal pack is way cooler than a regular Blu-ray case. Like, it's not going to look like this, probably. So um, this was a Target exclusive metal pack. So that's where I got that one. I can't open this one because the case is broken. And, I, and it will, like, flop open. Um, but this is Young Frankenstein. This was another Best Buy... Um, metal pack that I got, the back with the lightning, the front with all the characters from it. This one's okay. Uh, it's, it's okay. This one's cool. This is Zombieland. Um, this was a Best Buy exclusive metal pack. So the front and then on the back you have a bunch of zombies going somewhere. They're going on some ride. This was uh, at the carnival. So here you have uh, Tallahassee, Woody Harrelson's character. So like they do stuff from the movie on these a lot of times. It'll have some theme from the movie that's really cool. So this was the scene at the end when they're at the carnival, but then they made this a scary face. You see that? Incredible. All right. Next, I have three, one, two, three X-Men films, and they're the first ones. Uh, the first one is X-Men. There's your front and back. You get all the characters. Um... This was Target, a uh, Target exclusive metal pack. So I got that one. X-Men 2, similar to the first one. Uh, all the characters, but a little bit different. Oh, and, and usually they have inside artwork as well. So a lot different than regular cases. I won't show all the inside artwork because a lot of times, a lot of these have like two discs, so you can't even really see it. But on this one, you can see it. Wolverine, being tough. It's the same exact picture, but that's okay. Um, X-Men The Last Stand. So I got all three of the first X-Men movies and all from Target. Another, this one has like character, almost like character posters on the inside. So that's pretty cool. Then I have Deep Impact. So I don't even remember where I got this one. I got it at Best Buy, but I don't know if it was an exclusive to Best Buy. But here's the front and back. You got uh, <laughs> Catastrophe. And guys on the asteroid. If you've ever seen this movie, you know what scene. This is literally just a scene. They didn't go for like artwork per se. They just put a scene. But uh, good movie. Underrated probably because it came out same time as Armageddon. And everyone likes Armageddon better. So um, this was a Best Buy exclusive metal pack as well. Two guns. Uh, the back's not very cool, so I won't open it. It's just dollars. But Mark Wahlberg, Denzel Washington. Um, it, was, it was a pretty good movie. The Equalizer. Now, this one I like. Um, if you've seen the movie, you know the ending is all set in like a hardware store. So you have 
dead people, Denzel's shadow on the dead people, and all the hardware store stuff. So pretty cool um, metal pack for this one. That was a Best Buy exclusive. This I got at Target, I think? Robocop? The original Robocop? Um, it's not, I mean, the, it's okay. Uh, the artwork's not amazing, but it's the unrated director's cut, so that's cool. I don't know. I think the R-rated one was gooey enough, but that's okay. Um, this one, a movie I like, Oblivion, Tom Cruise. This case is pretty good. I don't remember where I got this one, to be honest, but there's your front work, artwork. There's your back, his little apartment in the sky from the movie. So that one's pretty nice. Star Trek, the original Star Trek. Now, I'm kind of mad about this one because I have... I have the metal pack for the original. The back sucks. It's just sparks. I don't know what this is. So they get lazy sometimes and do this. And this is nothing. Um, I'm kind of mad because I have the other two on Steelbooks, which we'll get to when I get to them. And I have just this one as a metal pack. So it's like kind of a bummer when like... Same with the X-Men. I have all the, all the other ones. So I have <laughs> three of the other ones in Steelbook, one of them in a regular case, and three of them in metal packs. It's annoying. I, I want to like get all the same, but... Um, Sometimes it's not possible, and I'm not going on eBay to spend a lot on some of them. But, yeah, I have the metal pack. I like the art on it. I just wish it was a steelbook instead of a metal pack. Um, War of the Worlds. Steven Spielberg, Tom Cruise. Um, you got that. I think this was, like, the poster art for the movie. And then Tom Cruise, Standing in a Light. And then the inside is actually better. It's got, like, the big tripod things, like, blasting lightning on stuff. I don't know. I feel like they should have put the inside artwork on the outside, but whatever these are my three my last three metal packs probably my three favorite ones because i they these were target exclusives and i really liked them and they made they were all paramount movies they made these three saving private ryan um there was a three or four other star trek was one of them but i already had star trek so i didn't get it so i only have these three but um the first one is the italian job and these are actually embossed so like it's like you could feel Mark Wahlberg. Like, you could feel Charlie Theron. They're popping out. They're, like, 3D. The cars are 3D. And it has, like, this, like, look, like, weathered look, kind of. I love these. Um, there's your back artwork. Is a chase scene from the movie. Um, it kind of looks, like, messed up already, but it's, like, intentional. It's not... I didn't scratch it up, just so you know. Um, and then the inside has artwork. Like, I love the way these look. Um, so I have the Italian job. I have Super 8. This is my favorite one, probably. I think it looks the coolest. Um, same thing. It's embossed. Uh, but they actually went with, like, uh, this is photos. They, these are, like, almost like drawings, like how the poster was, but put into, like, 3D. And then on the back, you got the two of them standing there together. So that's Super 8. I love this movie, and I love this metal pack. And then the last one is The Adventures of Tintin. Steven Spielberg directed... Uh, same thing as the other two looks exactly the same and then on the back you have adventure Tintin and a exploding boat apparently and an airplane so lots of adventure and then Tintin squatting here and then uh, it's that captain I forget his name he's behind here so um, let's see just I'll show you guys just one full inside artwork there you go so that's how they look like they just go into more detail with the packaging so um, that's kind of why, one of the main reasons why I like them, but those are all my metal packs. So now we're going to move on to actual steelbooks. Okay. So moving on to the steelbooks proper, no more metal packs. Although I think I have two more in here, but, uh, but they look more like steelbooks. So we'll get to those later. Um, first up best buy exclusive it, the first, it, well, the first of the new it's not Steve, not the original 1990. Um, this is a 4K. Oh, by the way, these are all, I'm going to be showing you all my, all my 4K movies on Steelbook first. So this is a 4K Steelbook. There's your art. It's okay. It's not my favorite. I, I like the movie a lot. Uh, this one kind of lazy. They came out with another one later that looks much better, but I already have this one. I'm not paying another $35 for it. So um, I have that one. Next up, another Best Buy exclusive, Jason Bourne. Um, this, I'm not going to open it because the back is lame. You know his name. That's all it is. Okay. I know his name. It's Jason Bourne. Uh, this was a Best Buy exclusive 4K Steelbook. I have the other Bourne movies on Blu-ray in Steelbooks, and they all look the same. This is the only one that looks like this, so 
It's it's off in the 4K section, but it's an okay steelbook too. Uh, uh, that's what I'll do too. I'll let you know if there's one that I really love, like the art on it, I'll, I'll say so. This, these first two, mm, they're okay. Uh, another one that's is okay. Uh, Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. So this was the first sequel, reboot, whatever, of Jumanji. Um, there you go, front and back. Um, there's art on the inside, of course. Uh, yeah, it's okay, but this one I love. This is one of my top, if I had to make a top list, this would be on it. This is the original Jumanji, and, and it looks like the board game. So uh, this is a 4K of the original Jumanji. It's literally the outside box. It's embossed. Uh, and the back is just wood, so the back doesn't look amazing. But it looks like the, the, the board game case. But the cool thing is, when you open it, it actually has the instructions to the game on each side. So this other side has, like, the board with, like, words on it. And then this side has the instructions to the actual game from the movie. I love this steelbook. I think it's one of the better, more, better designed steelbooks that I have. So I love that one. That was a Best Buy exclusive steelbook. This was another Best Buy exclusive steelbook. Schindler's List. Um, it doesn't have any... The title's on the spine only. Um... No title or nothing, just a really famous scene from the movie with the little girl with the red coat. On the back, you just have the, the hands, which was a, one of the original posters, I believe. So, um, 4K, still book of that. This one's okay, too. This was um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, another 4K steel book. I like it because it has the, um, almost like, like a poster would have, like the name of the actor and who they're playing. But the, they saved this, the star for the back. And that's the dog. She gets her own whole back cover um, on this one. On the inside, it just says the ninth film from Quentin Tarantino. It's not that great, whatever. Movie's good, but uh, that's a pretty good steel book. This was newer. This was Best Buy exclusive as well. Spartacus. Uh, I've never seen this movie, but it was only like $17 for a 4K movie, which is pretty good, and it's a classic. So I bought it. Um, I'm going to watch it, but it's three hours, so... I am uh, just got to wait, but that's the full one. Looks pretty cool. Inside, Kirk Douglas on a horse. There's probably more horses over there. I don't know. I haven't taken out the discs yet. So, Terminator Dark Fate, the latest in the Terminator series. Uh, this was a Best Buy exclusive steelbook as well. This one's kind of cool as far as when it's fully opened. Uh, if you've seen the movie, you know what's going on here, but this guy's two guys pretty much and you have his terminator form and his like human looking form so that one's pretty nice this one i got uh bad boys one and two not much uh this is cool like it has just like a lot of guns and all this kind of stuff on it um it's okay then the back is just from the original bad boys the best thing about this steelbook is that it is a 4k steelbook two both movies in 4k both movies on blu-ray and I paid $5 for it at a game store. One of those like retro game stores. They also sell movies. $4.99. I don't, this goes for like 35 bucks or 30 bucks at least if they even have it still at Best Buy. Um, I got it for five. So sometimes it's not always good. It's the, the, the difference with steelbooks and regular cases is if you wait, you're not going to get it usually. Like they are limited. They don't, they, they, they will mass produce them. But because it's exclusive to stores, once they run out, they run out. Um, this is one of the reasons why I like getting them too, but, um, you will rarely find one. Like you can get them on a secondary market, but they're usually dinged up. Like this was like perfect condition four ninety nine. I was like, well, I'll take it. Um, all right. I have two of these movies with this same kind of art style. This, this is the purge. The, the first, not the first purge. I can't say that cause that's the name of one of the movies, just the purge, the first film in the series. So there's your front and back. It's like kind of spray paint looking artwork it's all right this was a best buy exclusive and then the purge anarchy so they i like when they match i like when the series have movies that match like the cases match so this is the front and back of this one this is the best one in the series in my opinion inside a little bit of art uh yeah these were both from best buy i didn't get the other two because i don't like the other two so i only have uh, unlike the blu-rays i have only maybe one or two steelbooks i don't like uh and I'll let you know. Definitely two of them, and they're both part twos. We'll get to them later. Um, 
All right, this is Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. This was a Best Buy exclusive steelbook as well. Uh, kind of lazy. I don't love the artwork on this one. It's just got a raptor on the... Blue on the front in blue. And then that other thing on the back, that in, Indoraptor, whatever it was called. Um, I like the movie. I don't love this steelbook. I think it's kind of... It's kind of bland, but... Um, I have all the other movies in the collection in a steelbook, so I have to get it. This one is all the Jurassic Park movies in 4K. And I'll just show you now. It's somewhere over here. I won't show you now because I don't know where it is. I have a Blu-ray steelbook of all these movies as well. Um, the thing I got came with, the collection came with both steelbooks for both series. So I'll just show the 4K one uh, on the back in red. The dinosaur, the Blu-ray case has this in blue. And then it's just the, the titles of all four movies. Um, and then you have all the discs inside. So, And then there's the T-Rex scene it, from the first movie behind it. But I do like this steelbook, even though it's simple. It's like the poster for the movie pretty much with a little bit extra writing. But um, I like it better than that Jurassic World one. So whatever. Hobbs and Shaw, another Best Buy exclusive steelbook. This is this is bad. I I hate when the back is nothing. Like like put there's one tree and a and a and a and a a little um, rearview mirror on it. That's it. Like just make it bigger. Then maybe just put one guy on the front and one guy on the back. Something. Come on, Best Buy. What what is this? I like the movie, but what is this? And the inside just says Hobbs and Shaw. Lazy. I won't keep showing that one. Good movie though. I like the movie. Um, okay, now this one's very cool. So I have a collection of these. This is the only one that's in 4K. Um, and there might be a glare, and uh, that's okay because I'm going to take off the packaging. But this is a quiet place. This is a Mondo steelbook. So I have maybe seven or eight Mondo steelbooks. So there's your artwork without the plastic sleeve. And then on the back, all the red lights as well. So I'll just open it. Very simple, but very cool artwork on this one. Mondo, probably, uh, the other ones are right here behind me. Uh, the best artwork. It's usually some kind of drawing, um, and you'll see the rest when I get to them, but I love the Mondo Steelbooks. They're kind of hard to get because they're, like, super limited, but um, this one this one was everywhere. This was, like, on, I got this on Amazon, but it was also a Best Buy. It was, it was a wide release. Uh, this was a Best Buy exclusive, A Star is Born. Simple, but it works. It fits the movie. You got a guitar, Lady Gaga, Bradley Cooper, and then a star being born i guess i don't know uh, and then here they are making a song um good movie as well uh okay steelbook i should rate these steelbooks six out of ten i'm gonna start rating them as i'm going through them i just i just decided to do that all right these uh the matrix front and back i mean as far as fitting the movie it does it is you got a spoon if you know what that is from the first matrix a spoon with the three characters on it and then the matrix um, the cool thing too is, I'll show you at the end, um, I'll give this one like, also like a 6 out of 10. It's pretty good. This was Best Buy exclusive steelbook. And then of course I have The Matrix Reloaded. Um, same thing. This time the back is the city and then the Matrix stuff. And then some keys. Hmm. Keys. I know you know the movie Keys. And they always put Morpheus and Neo and Trinity on all three of them. They're the only three characters that get put on any of these, but... Makes sense. They're the main characters. And then the Matrix Revolutions. Uh, the back of this one, probably the best out of all of them, has like uh, the those suits from when they were in Zion. Um, and then the three of them on the front. Uh, I'll give all of them like a 6 out of 10. They're all pretty good. But if you look here, on the side it makes a bullet when they're all on the shelf next to each other. So little stuff like that I always think is cool. Like... The, the books, the steel books themselves match. And then when you have them on the shelf lined up, there's some kind of little thing that goes across them. So, um, yeah, I would give all those like six out of ten. They're pretty good. All right. Another Best Buy exclusive. Most of the I'm just going to say it up front. Most of these are Best Buy exclusives. Best Buy in the U.S. at least is like the steelbook kings. So I've decided I'll just tell you if I got it somewhere other than Best Buy, because majority of these were Best Buy exclusive steelbooks. Um including this one, John Wick 3. Uh, this one's cool. So there's your front and your back. Um, it's cool. Uh, limited edition. I have number 18,108 out of 35,000. So that's always cool. There's only 35,000 of these. 
And that is a big number, but when you think of how many people there are that might want to buy it, you know, like this movie is pretty popular. It, it just shows like as far as the rarity of the steel books. Um, now I'm thinking about, it. I think I got this at Target, not Best Buy. Um, but yeah, this one, I'll give this one like a seven out of 10. It's pretty cool. Equalizer two, front and back. Uh, it's okay. It fits the movie pretty good, but it's not my favorite. Uh, six out of 10. Now this one I like, I like this one a lot. Labyrinth. This is a Jim Henson movie from the eighties. Um, I have the 4k steelbook for a couple of these, but, uh, Labyrinth is cool. It looks like a poster. You got like poster art. And then on the back, you have some characters and on the inside, there's like the maze. I'll give this one like an eight. I think this one looks pretty nice. I like the like old hand drawn poster look. So I give that one like an eight. Um, the dark crystal. This was the other of those old eighties Jim Henson movies that I have. Um, front and back. I don't know what it is. It looks kind of blurry to me on this back part. I don't think they did an amazing job. The front is cool, but since the back's kind of whack, I'm going to give it a seven. I'll say seven for that one. Uh, this one's actually cool. So you would never maybe know what movie that is. It's Waterworld. This is Waterworld with Kevin Costner, a 90s uh, flop, I guess, because it was like the most expensive movie ever made at the time. But I think the movie's pretty good. Like it's It's like Mad Max on water with... Kevin Costner and on the back you have some meat it's like it's like spam in the movie pretty much uh I like it I wish the back didn't have this on it I wish it looked more something cool like this so I would say this one's like a seven out of ten it's it's okay Creed 2 and then the back Creed 2 so this just says Creed 2 twice on it uh you have Rocky you have Creed simple it's effective. It matches the first one, which they're separated because the first one I have only on Blu-ray and this was a 4K, but um, seven, it's it's simple, it's effective, but it's not it's not incredible. Now, this is a new one. I just got this recently, the Goonies 4K. Um, this is Best Buy exclusive, of course. There's your front, there's your back. The back's pretty simple. I do love the front, though. Um, but it's not incredible. It's not super amazing. I would give this one also a seven. All right. Now, these two I actually like a lot. This one I like quite a bit. Deadpool, the first Deadpool, 4K Steelbook, Best Buy exclusive. Uh, there's your back cover. The back cover is just okay, but I love the front cover on this one. Um, it's not colorful per se because it's only red, gray, and black and white pretty much. But um, I love the way it looks. You got heart hands, Deadpool, like it fits. I would give this one, honestly, like maybe an 8 out of 10. I like it. The second one, uh, it's pretty cool. It's like hand-drawn, um, like sketched almost. Deadpool 2, you have Cable, Domino, Deadpool. On the back, you got Juggernaut, and it says, ah, uh, hot potato. Um, and then that annoying kid from this movie. Um, this one's cool. This has a lot of discs in it. Goodness gracious. There are four discs in here. I never, I didn't know that. Um... Yeah, so that's Deadpool 2. I'll give this one also, like, maybe an 8. It, it fits the character. It fits the movie. This one's cool on the front. Predator. The Predator. This was the more recent Shane Black Predator movie. The back is lame. It's just those little pred Predator things. But the front is a Predator face all made out of skulls. And that's pretty cool. So I will give this one, like, an 8 out of 10 as well. This one's lame. Um, I like the movie, but it's a lame steelbook. No title. Not, just some guns and weapons. It's the Magnificent Seven, the recent Magnificent Seven, Denzel Washington, Chris Pratt. Uh, I like the movie. This Look at this. It's just red. This is a terrible steelbook. I, I'm five. I give this one like a five. It's not, maybe a four. It's not that cool. It's a good, good movie. It's it's a, not a good, good steelbook. Uh, Kin. Now, this is an okay movie with a better steelbook than Magnificent Seven. Kid with the gun on the back. This symbol that pops up in the movie. Um, inside there is artwork in the back, but you can't really see it. I give this one like a seven. It's it's cool. It, I like the black steel books usually. I like, I think the art, like whenever they put stuff over black, it really like pops. So I like that one. This one's awesome. This is definitely getting more than an eight. This is Venom. Now I'll show you the back real quick. You have the symbiote like breaking out of this jar or whatever, but the front 
it actually says venom in his like mouth meat or whatever that's called i don't know um it's hand drawn it looks awesome this is like easy a nine out of ten like cover for me i love this one uh, not a 9 out of 10 movie, but a good movie, but I just love it. Like, I didn't even notice it when I first got it, and then I looked at it, and I was like, oh, it says the title there. Very clever. I love that one. So I would give that one, like, 9 out of 10. Another recent one, Jaws. Simple. It's water. It's a shark. On the back is a lady swimming. Um, simple. It's good. It's nice. I like the blue spine. Ah, uh, 7. I'll say 7. Uh, this one I love. This is, like, 10 out of 10. I have a few 10 out of 10 steel books. This is one for me. The Shape of Water. Um, oh, it is just, it is so good. Uh, it's the two of the main character, the two main characters underwater, but it's like a drawing. It looks like a painting almost. Um, yeah, I love, I love the movie, but I love this steel book. 10 out of 10, easy. One of my favorite ones. Another, now another awesome steel book for a not an amazing movie Ghost in the Shell. Uh, Scarlett Johansson. The back is kind of lame. It's just her. But the front is pretty awesome. It's another, like, hand-drawn one. Um, you got the guy with the Dorito head. The other friend. Um, movie was just okay. Steelbook. I really like it. I would give this one, like, an 8. I like the red. It looks cool. All right. A couple more. Scary stories to tell in the dark. Um, this is okay. The back is it's just a spider. So... Not amazing. Um, I will give it a six. This one's just okay. Serenity. This is not the Matthew McConaughey and Anne Hathaway movie. This is the Joss Whedon um, sci-fi movie that was based off Firefly, the show Firefly. The back has this thing on it, which kind of looks like Waterworld, but it's not. And then the front just has this weapon. Uh, it's okay, Steelbook. Um, I like this poster. This was on like the regular Blu-ray a lot. Um, uh, six. It's okay. And then Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible Fallout. Um, this one's cool. You have Tom Cruise. You have a helicopter. You have him dangling from a helicopter. And on the back, you have him hanging on a, hel a lot of helicopter going on on this steelbook. But it was kind of a pivotal scene in the movie, so it, it, it works. Um, yeah, it's cool, uh, but it's nothing spectacular. I will give this one like a six as well. All right, and so the last one for this episode, this first episode of my collection, we're going to go through my Disney 4K, Disney and Pixar 4K steelbooks. A lot of these I like a lot, and some of them I think are just okay. Uh, so we'll start with The Good Dinosaur. Um, I like these. They came out with a lot of, uh, you'll see, um, Best Buy came out with these 4K steelbooks. There's the back. Um, it's just a dinosaur. And uh, I like them because they came one color on the front, and then the spine will be slightly different color. So on the shelf, all next to each other, they look kind of cool because they're because of the color schemes. But good dinosaur. Uh, and it's a drawing. They're all hand like drawings. They're not like uh, pictures from the movie, um, like CGI. Uh, seven. I'll give all these a seven, a blanket seven for all the Pixar ones. I'll just do that now. Inside Out, got all the main characters. Blue Spine, Bing Bong on the back. Do they have cool stuff on the inside? They do, but there's a lot of discs inside all of these. So there's three discs in there. You're not going to be able to see it. I got Finding Nemo. Uh, uh, and they're also like um, debossed on them. So they dip in where the titles are for all of them. Uh, it's blue and then darker blue. Look at that. Uh, and then the birds on the back. Cars. I don't even really like this movie, but this was only $6 when I bought it. It was like Best Buy had a super duper sale because no one was buying these steelbooks because they were $35 and they were for movies that were like some in some cases almost 20 years old. Um, so when this one went for six, I was like, I'll just add it to the collection. This one you can see has like cool inside artwork, but uh, yeah. Dark navy, not navy, like a darker blue spine, red, and uh, you have that guy on the back. Uh, no mater, which is a weird choice, but whatever. Um, I like the steelbook. I don't love the movie. Brave, uh, another one. Blue, blue spine, her three brothers on the back. Her mom, the bear, the eyeball is part of the bow. This one actually is a little bit, I'll give this one a seven and a half. I like the, uh, I like the idea on it, it's pretty cool. 
All right, these are not part of that collection, but I do have more of those. Um, this one, this is an easy, easy nine out of 10. The Incredibles. Um, it looks cool. I love the art style. It looks like old, like 50s or whatever sci-fi movie. Um, the back is just a logo, but I love, love, love the way this one looks. Um, there's stuff inside you can't see it. Too many discs. And then The Incredibles 2. Uh, I actually like this one a lot too. Uh, it's not as cool as the first one. It's just the Incredible suit in a washing machine. Uh, and then the back is like the stuff in the, in the, if you've seen the movie and you know the Incredibles, like it makes sense, right? Cause they're, they're like retired in the, in the, the second movie, like they're domestic, they just stay home. So it makes, it makes perfect sense. Um, so I like it not as much as the first movie. I would give this one maybe like a seven, seven out of 10. It's, it's cool. It fits, but it's not the best. All right. Now these, I do have the first movie in a steel book, but it's a Mondo. So we'll get to that one later. Um, Toy Story 2. And these are similar to those other ones where it's like a drawing debossed Toy Story 2 on the back, the little under their feet, they both say Andy on them. So that one's a pretty good. And then Toy Story 3, same thing. They're on the box. Lotso on the back. Blue Spine. These all have like a blue spines except this one. Toy Story 4. Um, this one is a little bit different than the other ones because this came out not part of that line. Like this came out just brand new. Um, Best Buy exclusive. And this is like literally CGI like from the movie. So it's not like hand-drawn. There's Duke Kaboom up on the back. Uh, the Spork, Sporky or whatever his name. Forky. Forky was funny. Um, so, yes, that's Toy Story 4. Okay, now that's all the Pixar stuff. Regular Disney movies. Now, this is a live action, Nutcracker, the Nutcracker, and the Four Realms. So, this movie was just okay. I do like the Steelbook. Most of Disney, they, they a lot of times will, like, emboss things or deboss them. That's pretty cool. The back is cool. You have the key and stuff. Um, but the movie was just okay. But this was another one that it went on sale, and I paid, like, I think $5.99 or something like that for a 4K movie. Even just for a 4K movie, I would have bought it for 5 bucks. But also to get a Steelbook, um, yeah, definitely grab that one. Uh, I would give that one like a 6. It's okay. Cinderella, the first of like the, not the first, but the first of the modern like live action ones. Um, I really, I really enjoy the movie. Uh, on the back, you have the, the slipper. Uh, it's not a great Steelbook though. It's just a photo of them. It's 6. I give this one like a six. Uh, this one I like better. Beauty and the Beast, live action, 4K steelbook. Uh, on, the ba on the front, you have Belle. On the back, you have the Beast. It's kind of uniform. It looks nice. I would give this one like a seven. Um, no title on it, just on the side. So, But I would give that one a seven. All right, Zootopia. Awesome movie. Um, I like it. It's kind of busy. It's got like a lot of characters on it. I don't even know. I don't even remember this guy, to be honest. Um, and on the back, you got more characters. Um, I would give this one like a six. It's just okay. It's, it's nothing spectacular. This one I like a lot. Princess and the Frog. Um, this would make like a cool movie poster if you were looking at like a big poster. Um, another one that has a lot of characters, but they fit them all on one. Because on the back, you just have... I think his name is Ray, the little firefly. Um, I would give this one maybe like a seven and a half out of 10. I, I like that one quite a bit. I don't want these to fall. All right. Oh, this one's a nine out of 10. I love this one. Wreck-It Ralph. And he's an arcade. It's on an arcade cabinet. So this is like, this is like embossed. Um, you have the joystick, the buttons, it all like, you can touch it. It's cool. It's like 3D Ralph. And on the back is where you put the coins. Like, this is a great steelbook. I love this steelbook. Easy 9 out of 10. The second movie... I don't know how they came up with that for the first movie and then this for the second one. This is this is just very, uh, his butt in a hashtag. I don't know. Uh, more character. This is a 5, honestly. This is a lazy... And it's only a 5 compared to the first one is so good. And then they came out with this. So I don't know what happened there, Disney. I mean, come on. Or whoever designed it, do a better job. I, this one's awesome. Tangled. Uh, I love the way this one looks. Uh, embossed title. And then you have that. 
So it goes across the front and the back. I always like when they tie it across like that, like like the Terminator one from earlier. Um, I'll give this one like an eight. I think this one looks really nice. Um, Frozen. Uh, it, the back is lame. It's just a snowflake. The front is very cool, though. I do like the front. I, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I will give it like a seven. Uh, this is a 10 out of 10. Not just because it's like my favorite animated movie or my favorite Disney movie, but I think it's a great use of something from the movie for the cover. It's Beauty and the Beast, the original Beauty and the Beast. Uh, it looks like the stained glass at the beginning of the movie. Uh, it's black and white, like where the beast's hand is. Only the rose is in color. It's in I love this one. I think it's great. The back, I mean, classic. The two of them dancing. Um, and then in the inside, it has the scene of them dancing, like going across like that. Uh, 10 out of 10. I think this is like one of the best like Disney animated steelbooks that they've come out with. And whoop, they fell. Uh, that's okay. And then Aladdin. Uh, this one's cool. It fits the movie. It looks like it could be a poster or something, but it's kind of basic. And then Genie on the back. I'll give this one a seven. I think it looks nice, but it's not spectacular. The inside actually looks really cool with the, with the palace and everything. If they could have figured out a way to do that, like across here, I think it would have been cooler. But uh, when it's opened, it looks better. Seven. It's pretty cool. So that is episode one of my Steelbooks. Episode two, we're going to get through. Uh, I have some more 4Ks, including all the Marvel movies. I have the MCU uh, we'll be going through the MCU, as well as some DC movies, and then a few miscellaneous 4Ks. Um, so keep an eye out for that. That'll be on the next episode. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at Netflix Reviews. Check out our Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Netflix Reviews. Um, and listen to our podcast. We're on Apple Music, Google Play, Spotify. Um, we talk about movies, we review movies, and we tell jokes. So uh, until next time, see you later. The Nate in Netflix. Nate. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>